Today's video from Sam Forrest Help. We're taking a look at PLU status programming on the ER180U register. Uh, there's two, ma two main reasons why you might need to program PLU status. The first is if you're having PLU prices uh, as standard on the machine, all the PLUs are open. So if you sell a PLU, 25 for example, it will ask you to enter the price, just like the departments are open. You then type in the price, hit the PLU button to confirm the price, and then you've sold that PLU. Uh, but the whole point to me of PLUs is to speed things up, so you'd want them pre-programmed uh, with a price, ideally. Um, if you are pre-programming them with a price, then you need to program the status of the PLU to allow for preset pricing. You can't just program the price. Uh, the second reason why you might be looking at status is if you've programmed tax on the machine. So if you've seen my tax programming video, You'll have seen that I've set my tax rate 1 to be 20% add in and tax rate 2 to be 5% add in. If you haven't and you're looking to set up tax status on the machine, then please check out that video. I'll put a link to it at the end of this one. Um, so we've done a video on tax setting, applying tax to the departments. But then if you're having tax on the machine, you also need to apply them to your individual PLUs. Um, so yeah, they're the reasons why you might be programming PLU statuses. Um, how you do it is, I'll, I'll program a couple in slightly different ways, but the key thing is this code here. So you basically type in an eight-digit code comprised of zeros and ones, and the basically the ones are denoting that you want that tax rate to apply and you want the item to be preset. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll go into it and then it will, coupled with the manual, it will ho hopefully make sense to you. So first of all, to go into program mode, it's six, followed by mode, and then PLU status programming is under 100, subtotal menu. You now enter the PLU number that you want to program. So we'll start with PLU 10. You press the PLU button, and then you type in the code for that PLU status. So mine is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then a 1, because I'm applying tax rate 1 to this PLU, and then 0, and another one because I want it to be preset. So my first one is for tax one, and my second one is for preset. And then finish with X time and cash, and that's PLU um, 10 programmed with that status. You get a little printout confirming the programming. So if I do another one exactly the same, 100 subtotal PLU 11, so 11 PLU, and then the code, Zero 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 one zero one, followed by X time cash. So that again, that PLU has been programmed at tax rate one, which means that if I sell it at a pound, that pound will include my 20% tax. Um, and it's also set to be preset, so I can give it a price. Um, if I program another one slightly differently, I'll program PLU uh, 12, but I'll set it to be tax rate 2 applied and I'll set it to be open so it's 100 subtotal PLU number PLU button code 0000, zero, zero, zero and then switch the one round so the one applies to tax 2 so 10 and then switch it around again so I've got another 0 followed by a 0 because I want my last one to be open X time cash and then we can now, if you're doing more programming, you can leave it in the program mode or we can return back to the reg mode. Um, in fact, I'll sell the items. I, I don't think I've given them preset prices yet. Um, so 10 PLU, so that one has a preset price, so that's exactly how it should work. Then 11 PLU doesn't have a preset price, but I've set it to be preset and 12 is open. So we'll, you'll need to enter the price each time. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. I have another video appearing now showing you how to program the uh, PLU prices and another one showing you how to program the PLU description. So please check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforushelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.